Here we're going to tie a DNA deceiver. First thing we're going to do is just start our thread. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to add the underside of the deceiver, which is going to be a white DNA fiber. I like to use DNA hollow fusion because it has a little bit of flash already built into it. I'm going to take a chunk, about a third to half the diameter of a pencil. Cut that out of the, the chunk. What I'm going to do is, this is a nice long piece, I'm going to fold this piece in half, double it over, so I get the diameter about half a pencil. Now what I'm going to do on each side here, I'm just going to pull out a few fibers, do this on the other side as well. And what I'm going to do is, this is going to taper the DNA deceiver. That way I don't end up with one flat, blunt end. Now we're going to tie on the underside of the fly. Now this first portion, I'm going to tie about the length of the hook off the back end here. So I've got about that much, and I just kind of double it. So I'm going to tie this in right on top of the shank of the hook. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this other chunk I'm going to fold it back up over itself. Now this chunk is going to be just a hair longer which is exactly exactly what I want. Zoom out here a little bit for you. I want it to be just a touch longer than that other side, underside. You can see there this gives it a nice taper, which is what I was trying to go for. And you can just kind of taper your thread here. Now we're going to tie the top portion of the fly. And this is going to be whatever color you want the DNA deceiver to be. I'm going to tie a chartreuse one here. So I'm going to take some chartreuse DNA hollow fusion out here. If you want to do a blue one, you can use blue. If you want to do a green one, you can use green. It's just uh, up to you, whatever color you want to tie. Chartreuse is my favorite. It seems to work the best for me. So I'm going to repeat the same process. I've got my nice long piece of DNA. I'm going to fold it in half. I'm going to taper the ends by just pulling out a few fibers. Do that on both sides. Now once I've done that, I'm going to do exactly what I did on the underside, but in reverse. My first portion is going to be my longer piece. I'm going to tie this in. Take my thread forward. I'm going to take this chunk almost all the way to the eye. Then I'm going to take the shorter piece. And then capture that. You can see what that has done is tapered it. And if you get a little bit of flatness up near the top, you can just get in there with your scissors and that will help taper it. I'm going to smooth out the head here. Now the last portion, last step, is going to be to add the gills. I'm going to take some red crystal flash. I'm going to take a chunk, about half a dozen to a dozen or so, depending on the size that you're tying. Got about eight or so here. I'm going to turn my fly upside down just for a moment. I'm going to take this red crystal flash and I'm going to tie it in 
right on the underside of the fly here. And I'm going to take the other portion. I did the same kind of technique where I doubled the crystal flash. And I can secure it, cover up any portions that are sticking out. Now what we're going to do is we're going to trim this crystal flash and just peel it all away and pull it down. Make sure you don't get any DNA stuck in it. I'm going to trim the gills here about half the length of the shank of the hook. Just like so. I'm going to take my thread all the way up to the eye of the hook. I'm going to whip finish. Now the last thing to do to finish off the fly, I'm going to take some 3D oval pupil eyes. I guess I have some red ones here. We're going to put these right on the edge of the head in the DNA. And they have a little bit of adhesive on the back so I just kind of I just wanted to stick there for now. Try to put them on as even as possible. Once you have them stuck onto the fly, I'm going to pull my DNA up here a little bit, give it a little bit wider profile. I'm going to take some UV knot sense. You can also use some fly finish. Fly finish is basically just a bulk bottle. It cures a little bit better on flies, but if I'm going to coat the entire head of this fly like I'm about to do, UV knot sense is just fine for that. I'm going to overlap my eyes here. Get a little all over the eye. Make sure I get some into the head here. I'm just trying to evenly kind of coat the head in the f of the fly. If you don't get it all in the first shot, it's no big deal. It's always best to put a little bit on and then add more rather than gob it all on at once like I'm doing. But If you do it done enough, you can kind of get a feel for how much it you need. And you're going to get your UV light out. You're just going to zap it. What this is going to do is cure the cure the glue, harden it. And to finish the hardening process, you can take it outside and set it in the sun for a few minutes and that'll cure it permanently. UV lights are always kind of a temporary set. They do a good job, but taking them outside is usually the the best way to completely cure it. And now we're set. That's basically all there is to a DNA deceiver. Very durable pattern. Fairly easy to tie. Looks a lot more lifelike than a standard deceiver in my opinion. DNA kind of has a translucence kind of look to it. Looks a lot more like a natural bait fish. That's all there is to the, the DNA deceiver.